Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil, and in this React JS video tutorial, we will learn about state in functional component. Yes, state can be used in a functional component as well as in the class component. So, how we can use state in class component, we will learn in the next video. But in this video, we will only focus on functional component with state. So, these are the points for this video. First of all, we will check uh, what is state. The use of state, how we can define or make a state, how we can update it on a button click and how actually state work, right? And uh, at the last, I will ask you a question. If you want to attempt it, you can attempt in the comment box. And in the previous video, I already asked the question that uh, why we cannot use variable inside a component, right? What is the problem with that? So in this video, this query is also we're gonna resolve. So uh, now let's start with the first question, what is state? So state is basically a kind of data container such as variable, right? So whenever we have a component like this application component and we just want to store some data like name or an email ID or something else, that time we use basically state. All right, so now we have a query why we cannot use basically a variable. The reason is that whenever we will use a variable that will it will work fine for printing or just display a value but whenever we want to update it it, it will not gonna work right on update time this return thing cannot execute and update the uh, new value right i'll show you how and uh, the same thing i just show you in the previous video but let's take a recap and just uh, check out the problem with a variable and let's see why we use a state so i'm just going to make a variable let's say let and data and it have some values like uh, anil this is my name and uh, let's just print it here so print that we can use a jsx syntax with the single curly braces and put here a data so now that's um, very much simple and you can see that we got a data here right all right there is no issue now i'm just going to make a button here and let's just put here update data now i just want to update this data uh, with an i just want to replace the anil with the uh, peter right and uh, now what i'm just going to do let's take a on click function on this on click function i am just going to call a function uh, let's say my function name is update data right and let's define this function update data and uh, here I'm just going to put here a new value inside this so let's say just putting here data uh, anil to Peter right and uh, now let's see how it's actually work so whenever I will click now you can see that this variable is not going to update okay so now we can just think that 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 is might be possible that the data is actually not updated data is already updated I can just show you like this uh, I just want to alert it so now you can just see that whenever I will just click on it in alert we will get a Peter like this so why this Peter is no displaying here reason is on a variable update react cannot understand that the something is updated on my component and it will not going to display the updated value in this return function right for that what react say you can use state for displaying the data right that's why in the previous video i asked that why we cannot use a normal uh, value or why it's actually not updating value is actually updating for a variable but react cannot render it again in this return block right now you got my point so now let's see how we can use a state and overcome this problem so first of all I am just going to import use state right okay so I just have to mention here react first then uh, it will just uh, give me uh, intelligence so just right here use state use state is basically a hook which is very simple to use and this hook will provide uh, or you can say that the uh, give a feature to use state in a functional component right whenever we will use a state in a 
class component the way will be uh, a little bit different right so now what i'm just going to do i am just going to take a let or you can take a const whatever you want to do and uh, let's uh, destruct this use state right this way we will just get all the values and function inside our array so now i have a data first variable and set data set data will be a function to update the data right and we can just put our by default value let's say anil is a by default value and uh, this data is actually working same as a variable like this here i can just uh, mention here a data right and i am just going to remove this uh, stuff for a moment and let's see how it's actually working this is working great there is nothing happen on a button click because we did not uh, write anything inside a function and till now this is working fine now what i'm just going to do i'm just going to put here set data and let's mention a new value like peter right so now whenever I, whenever i will click on it now you can see that value is changed that's why we use state all right so why react make it little bit why uh, react actually making it complex why we cannot use a normal variable the reason behind behind it the react architecture right react actually just understand a virtual dom and virtual dom will be just wake up only whenever a state or prop something will be just uh, updated right then it will just update this html otherwise it will not gonna just any update right so uh, all right so let's take a one more example so let's say i have a different uh, initial value let's say zero and uh, here we have a zero value so i just want to make it uh, increment by one on a click then what i can do i can just put here uh, data that means state plus one right and now whenever i will click on it now you can see that we are updating actually value right similarly you can use a minus one for just decrement a value if you just want to take a one more uh, button here right so that's all very simple all right so i think uh, uh, you just got the answer of what is state this is basically a uh, collect data collector like a variable and why we can, the use of state is so that we can just uh, uh, want to take some information inside a component right and uh, how we can update it on a button click you just got it how it's actually work all right so what actually work whenever state is update this component will automatically understand that all right something is updated in my component and it will just re-render it it's a return right if you just want to check then let's take a console dot one here and just make some values like so now you will find that whenever our state will be update that function will be click this function func this component will be automatically update right let's see whenever i here you can see that count is increasing whenever i will click on it this component will update in case of whenever we will uh, update a variable this component is not gonna re-render again and again right so that's all for this video and now it's time to interview question for next video so my question is can we use state outside of a one component right and second thing is is state is a private or public property of a class or you can say that a function uh, that's all a similar thing so can we use uh, outside uh, state outside to a component or this is a public property or a class property a uh, public property or a private property so that's all for video and thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care god bless you good night